Hi, this is Alexandra Mason from Mason Design Build. And today on the channel, we are going to be talking about how to look at a pattern when you are in the store, make sure that you have the correct size, that this is the correct pattern for you. So we're gonna be looking at um, a pattern that just came out from the McCall's early spring line. It's called Waverly McCall's. And it says R10. 917 but actually this pattern if you find it inside the drawers the number is m as a mom 8147 when you see r10 anything with r it just means it has to be on top of the rack and these are definitely patterns that you want them to see right away so definitely that's why they put the r but again this is pattern m8147 waverly mccall's so I saw this pattern at the store. I absolutely love it. It has three different types of sleeves and it has like a pussy bow. Um, definitely great pattern. But if you're looking at a pattern, it's great that you look at the picture and the outline and make sure that this pattern is potentially going to look great on you. Always keep in mind, try not to pick patterns that you know that's something that is not flattering to your body. So definitely something to keep in mind at all times. But once you take a look at the pattern, um, take a look at it, make sure you like it. Don't go so much by perhaps a picture or the drawings. You really need to kind of flip over the pattern and then you will see their technical drawings. And this is a great top that you can do in many different blends. But let's start looking at, um, at patterns. So this pattern has nine pieces and it's rated as an easy to sew. It has suggested fabrics to be Charmeuse, Crips, Cotton Blends, Shelly. I would say if you are a um, beginner sewer, definitely take, this is a great pattern. I would definitely stick with cotton blend for this pattern, but it can be made in so many different other types of fabric. These are suggested fabrics. They are not, um, they're not set in stone. You can deviate from this a little bit. And you can, once you look at the pattern, you are also going to need things like notions. Um, it says A, B, and C are going to need 1 3 8 of an inch button. If you're doing B and C, you are going to need one and a half yards of 3 8 inch elastic. And if you're doing um, if you number C, you're going to need two hooks and eyes. So again, before you leave the store, keep that in mind that you are also going to need those notions to make sure that you have a completed piece. And then, um, then you start going down the sizes and you ask yourself, okay, how much fabric I'm going to need? This is where you need to start looking at, um, at your body measurements. So make sure that before you go to the store that you know your measurements for your bust your waist and your hip. Obviously this is a top, so you need to keep those measurements in mind. If you are doing something like a pair of pants, then you need to um, know your waist and your hip, uh, just so you are purchasing the right size for your for your body or for whomever you are making that, um, that garment. So let's say that, um, you are between 30 and 40 inches on your bust. So large would be the uh, size that you would use for this pattern. And body measurements um, tend to, okay, well, large will fit you, but then you also have to look at the finished garment measurements, which tells you how much ease is in that pattern how much ease, perhaps it's a loose fitting pattern. So the designer of the pattern figured that they really want three to four inches of ease in a pattern. It really depends how you like to wear your clothes. Some people like to wear their clothes a little tighter. Some people like to wear their clothes a little looser. So definitely keep that in mind 
when you are purchasing a pattern. Um, keep your body measurements and then also look at your finished garment measurements because this is what is the finish once you get your pattern your garment done this will be the actual measurement in the bust or the waist or the hips and we can talk a little bit about more about fitting patterns but for now let's just keep that in mind so let's say that I am making top a in a large and fabric comes in two different size rolls of bolts 45 or 60 sometimes it's 57 or um, 42 they kind of seems like they're kind of trying to cheat us these days of fabric but use those and if i wanted to make a view a and a large size and i found a roll of fabric at the store that i loved it's 60 inches i'm going to need a yard and three quarters usually i tend to buy just a little bit more fabric um, in case i want to make any um, corrections or changes or perhaps it's a one-way print and i need a little bit more fabric to match stripes and things like that so i usually buy either a quarter or half a yard a little more just to give myself a little extra room in case i need it so that is the sizes is going to tell you how much fabric you're going to need and then for this pattern you're also going to need three eighths um, of a yard of interfacing so fusible interfacing you are also going to need that to get this pattern done and then as you keep um looking at the pattern again it's got nine pieces it's rated easy and then uh, later on this week we are going to look at once we open up the pattern what things that we have to look at and um, read the instructions on this pattern but hopefully now that when you go to a store to um, take a look at a pattern see if it fits see if you like what to look for and what to buy before you leave the store to make sure that you can get this pattern at home um, done so if you liked this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and ring the bell and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon.